Welcome all you plus two common modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to the Not Prawn Weeklies where I try to solve one of the weekly puzzles created by the Not Prawn community using nothing but my mind and your help here in the chat and in the comments on YouTube. TV's Noah here, smoothie in hand. Mmm. And right now the current weekly puzzle is one created by... Albot, a.k.a. Ratmus, a.k.a. Spam, from the Lisa playthroughs. And uh, that is the current active riddle that you can play right now and join. There's not many, but these few cool people, like Cats and Ninth Life. I love the Ninth Life. I love to boogie. And Tun. But uh, we're not going to do this one because we don't do spoilies. So we're going back into the Hare's Riddle. We're going to go back into uh, the lieutenant's puzzle, and we're going to go back in time. Do, 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 got to go back in time. Into the Geo Weeklies. Uh, I'm going to get some copyright strikes, that's fine. How loud is this? This seems a bit too loud. Turn this down. So it's loud for me. All right, we uh, we get enough enough of this that I can mute this. I'll get out of the way so I can mute this tab. Eh, damn it. So last time we did this, we checked out tight, and we successfully uh, solved tights. I forget what the answer was, but I have it somewhere in these here notes. Uh, Alyssa, we went into, and we were told not to. Not to deal with that one right now. And then we went to cats, and we had a real tough time with cats. We, we weren't very successful with cats. So, instead, we're going to move on to some other stuff. Uh, we got the Revenge of Ender. We have Carbo. And we got that Trixie Minx Weaver. So let's check out Weavers. And, of course, we got to unmute now. Interesting. That's not where my smoothie is. Here's my smoothie. Creepy Weaver. Creepy Creepies. Alright, that's definitely a copyright strike. Uh, oh! We got, we got a Bloody Rose. We got these two gals. We got the Weaver. I think this looks like a fox. Ugh, I can't get this shit off the, my page. Whatever, at least the pen is black. All right, so apparently Weaver cannot get rid of these pigs. There they are, pig group fly midair. Or mid curl control, I guess. All right, let's, um, so everything's black. Let me view this image real quick, just to double check. Pen trans gif, all right. I feel like, let me try a good old fashioned select all, control A. Perhaps there's hidden writing on this. Oh, there is. Oh, right. You need a code or something. <laughs> Fine. Weaver says that all the time. It's a pig pen. Very good, Kermit. Uh, if you want it, you have to at least solve this thing here. But no one has before, so you're probably screwed or something. I don't, I don't really care. I'm never updating this page again. All right, so... We gotta grab this image. Copy image of new tab. Uh, save image as. It's called good sixty nine. Nice. Uh, we'll save that, and then we'll open up GIMP. 
and just skip over the whole photo P debate. Behold, it's me, the jerkwad who made this. Lieutenant, welcome. Uh, as always in the rules, uh, uh, jerkwads who made make this are allowed to give me hints if I beg for them. Uh, but they can make me sing or dab as payment for hints. Not needing a hint yet, though. Break out the gimp. All right. Open this guy up. I saved it to my desktop. Usually I hide my desktop, but I'm, I don't know. <laughs> one, that's true. one frame per business day due to mobile data. Uh, bummer, man. Gotta get on a new network. Uh, all right. I think we should get ahead and brighten this, right? Colors. Brighten. Yeah. And then we'll add some contrast to this. Will that help? Con con contrast. All right. Let's, uh, let's do my usual trick. Uh, wait. There we go. Now we can see. Flag code. I haven't seen someone that used flag code in a while. This is interesting. <laughs> this person's doing tricks with the flag. All right, let's pull up flag code. Flag code, underused uh, code. Semaphore? I don't know what that is. Flag code. This is going to give me, like, ship codes, isn't it? Yeah, this is not the flag code I want. I, want. I don't want the Marines. This is the flag code I want. Oh, you're right. Semaphore. Very good. Uh, it's, oh, it's, it's going to stay Tuesdays. I had a family thing yesterday, so that's why we're on Wednesday today. <laughs> Big shout outs to Guru, or Guru, from uh, the other realm. Yeah, it's... I, I apologize just because, like, I made a whole video about what the new schedule is going to be, and the first week of the, of the new schedule, I had to change it for a family thing. So, that's on me. No. Be smaller. <laughs> All right, so... Can I make this part bigger? I don't need to see this radius stuff right now. There we go. All right, so we're looking for, yay! We need the big Y. No, I didn't mean to click this. No, no! Actually, that's fine, because I could just move GIMP over now and it'll probably be better anyway. Sorry, I'm covering the chat a little bit. Just a little bit, just a, there you go. I can, still, I can see most of what you're saying. Uh, notepad as well. All right, so for Weaver. So first one is a straight up Y, which is known as a U. U. Uh, and then two of them down like this. Where's like the hand tool? Do I have the hand tool in this? Uh, so net two down would be what? Like down at your feet. Not quite. It's lower than N. It's lower. They're lower than A. Is there? What is completely down? Perhaps space. Uh, 
I don't see it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a space for now because I don't see it unless someone else sees it. And I'm just dumb. All right, one all the way down, one at 45 degree angle. No, stop telling me to do things. I guess this would be it's the it's it's an F. F. Definitely an F. And we got off to the sides. They're both off to the sides and they're making kind of like a C shape. Uh I don't think it's H. I think it's supposed to be a little bit higher than H. The top flag should be higher than it is on the H. Um Yes, I am. I am solving Weaver, you tricksy minx. Everyone's going to eventually get a nickname. <laughs> Weaver's a tricksy minx. Thick wants me to call, call them a bitch. You know, all that good stuff. Uh, do I not see this? Am I dumb? Because I want, like, basically the lower one of H, but the higher one of O, is what I'm kind of seeing here. But I don't quite see that anywhere. I want a reverse of X, is what I want. Anyone see that? Does anyone, does anyone freaking see that? Because I don't. Just scanning through. H is not quite right. I'm, I'm trying to get this guy here. If this spells something, I'd imagine it'd be a vowel. So it's not A. It's not E. It's not I. Maybe it's O. Maybe it's O and it's just not right. I think O is the closest and it's the only thing that kind of makes sense. Even though, like, what I want is a reverse X, is what I want. But I don't, I don't see that anywhere. Um, so we're, I, I think we should call it an O, but I don't, mm, this, this would be straight out then. And we have straight out here. Uh, fudge. Question mark for now. Yeah, and this wasn't here, so I called it a space. Is there anything even close to just the two down? Maybe G? Unless this is just not... Because two out to the side like this is not even a thing. Um, all right, so then two out to the side. But yeah, again, not a thing. The closest thing to it would be a Z. N, maybe? N for this one, maybe. Maybe, but I feel like... I feel like Jeremy would have done a better job. <laughs> Sorry, like, I meant that as a compliment, not like a jerk move, but I don't know, maybe this is Z, and then these two open ones would be, that's clearly a P, and then the opposite of that is a J. Ooh, this isn't feeling good.
And then Goro. Which will be a question mark. And then two to the side would be, again, I guess an O? Or no, because it'd be the other way, though. Because what is what's happening here? That's that way. Two to the other side would be what? An H? Mmm. There's something up. Something's not right about this. I don't know what the deal is here, but like it's it's very clearly not just as easy as we had thought. <sighs> Maybe we're overthinking it. Think we're overthinking it. Let me take out my pink pen. Pink. Well, that didn't do what I thought, but. I don't know. I thought that would make more sense. Uh, I think because I saw the Y and the U immediately, I was like, oh, this is going to say your something. Which this isn't even how you spell your. Um... So, uh, one, I don't know why it's not pink. Oh, but probably because I did something with the tone earlier. I can also move this over so I can see all the chat now. Started out strong and then I kind of lost it with your pink pen strategy. Yeah, I mean, the answer could just be Yuri. Weaver. the answer, Yuri. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Calling the cops? What? Just, just, I'm just coloring in flags this time. Maybe, because th this would be more of a V. Or... Maybe that's a seven. That could be an equal sign, I guess. Lower the radius? That's not a bad idea. Nope, lower, please. That's what I want when I hit the low thing. Thank you.
I'm look oh I'm looking at it. You're Is there anything like I feel like it's staring me right in the face. What's up extra? Um seeing here it's like this is such a nice O this is such a nice L this is a nice U this is a V or a Y I'm leaning towards Y I'm trying to think if this, like, if I'm just, like, looking at this wrong. Because, like, I don't know what the backwards L could be. Unless it's, like, a J. But I don't think it'd be a J. Uh, th like, the these being pretty much the same lines, but different symbols is worrying me. Uh, chat, remind me, just because I legitimately don't remember. When I take a guess, do I remove Weaver and write something else, or do I add something to the end of Weaver? Everything's all black and dark. Replace Weaver? All right. Yuri. Thank God. <laughs> You're irreplaceable. Uh, the, fir the first year I went to Otakon, uh, there was a Yuri panel. And I was like, oh, let's go to the Yuri panel. We'll be f It'll be fun. And, uh, we showed up, and I want to say it was at like 5 o'clock, so I might have been a little intoxicated. And uh, we didn't realize it was an all-ages panel. It was an all-ages Yuri panel. We showed up, and it was just about, like, love. And I was too busy giggling in the back, and I was like, we should probably leave. Uh, <laughs> what's with the gif? Yeah, I was actually having that thought, like... Let's remind ourselves with what's here. We have uh, Girl in Windstorm, Blinky Cats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cats. That she's a full-on cat lady. Uh, we got the Rose with the Blood. The thorns just alternate. Nothing suspicious about it. And then pig pen. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, 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 blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, pig pen code. Images, please. Okay. So, the way... No, where's the... Oh, maybe I should spell pig right. And I should probably spell pen right. <laughs> Dyslexia. Just like... P 
pig pen, of course. This, would, and then a dot. Ah, cleaver. All right, so. Uh, so, assuming that the dot in this would be the person's head, uh, we would get a code of what exactly? We would get W, K, the dot would be outside of it here. Uh, so that would be an I. Uh, outside of it here as well. So that would be a T. And then, come on. Quit being difficult, notepad. Uh, outside of it here again, so that would be an F. The dots would be inside here, in my opinion, so this would be J and L. Definitely dot inside here, so that would be an N. And then dot outside here would be a D. Ha <laughs> ha! What kid f Um, that's probably the answer, right? That makes the most sense to me. <laughs> Um, just gonna try it as an answer. It won't be, it shouldn't be right. Dear God, I hope it's not right. That would be a good place for an egg. Uh, so let's look at everything again. Just double check our thinking here. This is a great way to hide pig pen. Uh, cheers to you, Jeremy. Lieutenant, um, it makes sense for this to be a W. It, I guess it could be an S. Yeah, let's just write them all down. So we'll write it like this, ready? We'll do it like a shift, ready? So it, this one could be S or W. The second one could be B or K. I would say K. Uh, the next one could be... I or R, I would say I, I, R. The next one would be T or X, T, X. I would probably say T for, or yeah, I'd say T for that one. Uh, the next one would be F or O, F, O. Um, The next would be A or J. I'd like more vowels, please. So A, J. The next one would be C or L. C, L. The next one would be E or O, or E or N. E, N. I really stand by that it should be N, because look at that dude's head. It's right there. And then the last one would be D or M, and I would argue for it being D. Well, could you make any sort of argument that this should be H? Because <laughs> this is a word. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand how this would be H. Unless I'm skit-faced. <laughs> Is it skit-faced?
What am I doing? Faced. I'm having such a dil uh, uh, dyslexic day. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Lieutenant, if you're here, I'd love an explanation on that. On why, on the, on the, the H. F uh, language weaver. Uh, I forgot. Uh, arms go down. Right, I guess the shape, but the shape it makes, like, should be this. Uh, I gotta, let me just double check, make sure that the Sailor Moon theme songs that I'm playing or something. It was playing. <laughs> One called Sailor Moon. All right. We got to make this page <laughs> to black this page out too, I swear. You tell one fucking soul about this page, you will get it. <gasps> Guys, we're, we have to all be cool in the chat right now. Because I don't want Weaver... I don't want Weaver to get upset, so... We're all... Yeah, I tend to say Cleaver instead of Clever, so I think it is. <laughs> it is a fun coincidence that this is here. Pretty Cleaver. Uh, hi, Sailor Moon. But this has to stay between us. We cannot tell Weaver that we saw this page. Because I, I know I'm currently broadcasting this to everyone on the internet. But just, just don't let Weaver know. Uh, is this the answer? Is the answer the cleaver? It's an H because the flags are just pointed down, so it makes that shape. Am I just dumb? <laughs> yeah, it does. I, I just connected the flags differently than I did in any other time. Okay. That makes sense. I made this the bottom. Like, I didn't do that in any other time. Gotcha. But again, very cleaver. Um, I'm assuming this is the end of this trail. So we'll, we'll, we'll jump into some other stuff now. There's a lot of stuff that just happened. You can't hear my audio? My audio is still working, right? I did I did mute Sailor Moon. Uh, Alright. Revenge of Ender. If you're looking for Ender, this is his page. What we got music-wise? Is it Tool? Street Fighter music? No, I know this song. Is it Tool? Yeah, it is Tool. Oh, this is great. If you're looking for Ender, this is his page, but I don't talk to just anyone. If you can solve this puzzle, I'll give you what you want, and also a sneak peek of a thing I'm working on. Probably not going to be ready for a while, though. It's going to be pretty rad. Don't get caught playing with your joystick. Okay. A 
So here's my initial thoughts. A uh, bunch of Street Fighter moves being shown. Uh, don't get caught playing with your joystick makes me think that I need to look up the button inputs for all these maneuvers. Uh, the only thing that's a bit confusing to me is here we have Ken's Hadouken, but we also have Ken's Hadouken here, but rotated? That to me would imply that those mean different things? I also don't know what, what Blanca's doing here. Blanca? Blanca's the green guy, right? Hypnospace Outlaw. By the way, Hypnospace Outlaw has been on the short list of games to play on this channel for a long, long time. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to play uh, Hypnospace Outlaw. Because something's going to have to replace 12 minutes once I beat it. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to look up some stuff. I played the demo on the Switch and loved it. I was like, this is so my type of stream game. Perhaps it's that is something we've been discussing for quite a quite a bit of time. A game for us both to play on here. Uh, all right, so let me just look up Street Fighter move list to move list. Uh, so the first one, this is going to take a while if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. The, they do seem to be in, like, blocks here. Um, yeah, the joystick comment really makes me think that I need to look stuff up. Uh, I like that this one's alone. I kind of want to do this one first. Zangief's Pio Driver. How do I do Zangief? What? Oh, why is this? What? Zangief. Once I get really ripped, I want to cosplay as Zangief. I'm getting there. I'm working on it. Spinning pile driver. It is a full circle and then punch. Bam. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to. And like, it does say, because I immediately think Super Nintendo when I think of uh, uh, ba -ba -ba. Street Fighter 2. I just automatically go to that. I have a whole bit. If you ever come to one of my comedy shows, I'll, I'll tell you about the guy who hit on me through this game. Uh, in any case, uh, I should be thinking joystick, which is the proper way to you play. You should play Street Fighter with a fight stick. Um, so it is a circle then punch. What could that mean, though? I do. I do do comedy. I don't just play video games and uh, do the not prawn riddle on Twitch. I actually do stand-up comedy sometimes. Hence the name. Uh, let me look up the other moves. I think that's the best way to do it. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, all right, let me look up Saget's... Uh, move here and then because I think I have an idea but I think seeing Saget's Hadouken which I think is what that one is that is Saget right Sagat yes there he is there's Bob Sagat uh, I don't oh I guess that's a tiger shot 
and looks like a tiger shot. So it's down to right, so it's like an uppercut type move. Um, yeah, control F would have been a smarter way to do it. Um, but like this is the thing I'm tr I'm trying to put up. You st it starts down, and then you go to right, or you go to towards opponent to do this move. So you start down, and then you go up, and then you hit punch. But but easy. <laughs> but it's upside down. So what I'd what I imagine here is it's actually up and to the left punch. And uh Yeah. <laughs> Let me look up Ryu and Ken Sadukins. Cause maybe there's just no kick moves. And maybe it's all just about movements. Hadouken. Um, all right, so Ryu's Hadouken is done the same way, which is a bit odd that it warrants a completely different sprite then. Uh, and Ken, there's Ken. Ken Hadouken is done the same way. So, all these moves are done the same way, yet the pictures are rotated for some reason. Uh, I'm I gotta look up what makes Blanca cry. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is like Cammy's drill kick, I think. Um, there's also like some interesting lines that seem to be added here for some reason. Cammy, where are you, my love? Cammy. Oh, my absolute favorite. Uh, spiral arrow. Is that what this is? Will this show it to me? Show it to me. Show me what it looks like. I just want a picture. Yeah, screenshot. Yes, okay. Oh, she's so hot. Um, oh my gosh, she's gonna break her spine. <laughs> that's that's not good for her. You gotta fight later. You you should not be able to do this with your spine. Oh. All right, so it is, in fact, the same motion, but kick. So it is... All of these are the same motion, but punch, kick, punch, 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 punch. It's not prawn styles. The best I could do is Super Nintendo era sprites of Chung Lee. <laughs> it's the best I could do. I'm already getting in enough trouble for the copyrighted tool music. I don't need any more troubles. I, I need to know more about this because this, not only this, but it comes up a lot and is never rotated, which I find the most interesting. Uh, what is his name? Blanca. It is Blanca. Hey, Blanca. Oh, <laughs> Is it, is, well, Blanca, where'd you, don't, don't hide it from me, Blanca, just because I played with your tongue with my mouse. Uh, is that your electric thunder? Thunder? Feel the thunder? 
the electric thunder. Thunder's just the noise. You want electric lightning. That makes more sense even though it's redundant. No, okay, so it's not this. To me it looks like a, it looks like a taunt. Vertical roll. It's that is such a weird image, right? I don't need these anymore, so I'm gonna close these so I stop clicking on them. That's such a weird sprite to include. Is that his victory pose? No, it does not appear to be his victory pose. Oh. Uh, is there a taunt? Images. No, what is, what is it? Blanca Street Fighter Two Sprites. Let's look at these sprites here. Oh, he's stunned. That's him stunned. Oh! Oh no! I'm so stunned. Oh no! I legitimately hurt my neck. Oh no, no, I'm so stunned. So that's weird. Not quite sure what I'm seeing here, but everything else appears to be a move. Like, I, I mean, that might just be Vega falling. But, I mean, mm, oh, the, the change in size is weird. Oh, that's bison. I couldn't tell from the other one. Let me look up the guile kick as well, since it's one. Go to kick Bison's ass. Flash kick, hold down, then up and kick. So I'm thinking that it's about, I still think it has something to do with the joystick movements because it says don't play with your joystick. But then again, it, does, it also says don't get caught playing with your joystick. So maybe I'm looking at it entirely wrong. But then it would be weird that there is a bunch of joysticks. Like to me, that's, that's kind of the, the communication I feel like I'm getting. Also, like this is very interesting that it's like two small ones than a big one. Like the different sizes of the pictures are very strange. I don't know if it's just because like, um, yoga guy, what's his name? Dalsim? Dal his sprite is longer and thus 
Is anyone shown doing more than one move? Chung Li is. Chung Li is shown doing more than one move. Because she has this one and this one. I thought maybe it was just like one character per. Because that's the only appearance of Zangief. Uh, Guile as well. Guile has two as well. Cammy's also the only one. Cammy's the only one that's shown in a battle. Because there's there's E Honda here. And then for some reason this is a an artist interpretation. But I think the sprite alone may not have gotten that across. Something tried to talk just then. Like for a brief moment, something just played. I don't know what it was. This is very interesting. All right, so let's review. Uh, oops, not this far. I think we got to the end of tights. The, we got all through the Minson. Uh, puzzle, and that's where I got... I got something out of that. Where was it? So Fruity. I got all the way through... I believe I got all the way through Weaver and got the Cleaver. Cat, we think, has something to do with a Visioneer Cipher. Or a Keyword Cipher. Something to do with a j cat named Ginger. So cats, we have ideas about. Uh, Alyssa, I was told to leave alone. Ender, we have ideas for. And Carbo, we haven't even looked at yet. So I guess we will look at Carbo's next week, which again will be back on Tuesdays. So please join me. Be sure to follow me here on Twitch. Uh, so I go live now every weekday at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time, or technically uh, Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Uh, but 3.30, my time. So join me. Monday is for 12 minutes, which is up on YouTube now. If you want to get caught up on that, Tuesday is usually for these. Wednesdays is usually for uh, solving the witness. Thursdays is for Baba is you with Kermit, who's here in the chat. Say hi, Kermit. And Friday, brand new show premiering on Friday. It's less let la, 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 la. do that again. On Friday, join me for a new show. It's called Let's Do a Thing. It's where I do a brand new weird thing. Might be gaming related, might not. Might just be a cool hangout. It might be a, a bit of a TED Talk. The only way to find out is to join me on Fridays for Let's Do a Thing. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Plus Two Comedy Gaming so you can catch up on all my past live streams. And I'll see you all next time. Mm, boop.